told not to tell us why you were pulled over, and if you use that infamous, do you know who I am line? <laughs> uh, no, I was pulled over. Uh, this was in college, so. Yeah, well, it wouldn't have been in Walpole, that's for sure. No, not the man no, of the year. No. He doesn't get one. I, uh, I do the pulling over there. <laughs> On the weekend. So to speak. I don't even know. Because I had, an Al, I had an Al Roker moment. Uh, that's another story. <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you know, Al Walker, not the first guy to poop his pants in the White House. Oh Nixon goodness. probably did it at one point. Or another. Huh? Well, Bush used to brag about farting in the Oval Office for some unknown reason. Really? And I was right around that scene. Right. He could have easily blamed the dog. Yeah, but a lot of people say that administration is a lot of hot air, so <laughs> maybe that's where it came from. But the woman was so serious in the interview with him. She, she, was, right, she was like, oh, that is very side serious. Of, side yeah, effect, that is a it? legitimate side effect. Well, Aaron pointed out regarding the Roker story that Roker Goes Commando would be a killer indie <laughs> rock band name, too. <laughs> <laughs> Roker Goes Commando! Gino, use your, introdu your introducer voice there. Ladies and gentlemen, Rucker goes coming home. Let's hear it for him. Uh, our buddy uh, John Lamb also said, hey, if Al Roker pooped his pants in the White House, I need to party with that guy. I'm not sure why. No, I'm not no, really. Not really not you, know. you know, it's funny because I think that, I hear that and I think I need some wet naps if I ever see that guy. <laughs> oh. Lily and I like to reenact things that happen.